What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you'll be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to shade in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, you guys, one of the most important things about art and getting your art to the next level is shading and learning how to find the shadows inside of your picture so what we're gonna do let's go ahead and make a quick rough sketch of his face and we ain't gonna spend too much time on the face you know what i'm saying we just gonna basically do a, a nice little layout where you see where everything is okay you got his nose you got his lips now remember you guys this ain't a drawing video it's a shading video so this my picture of this face ain't gonna be too perfect So, now let's go ahead and get to the shading part. We're gonna make, we're gonna make four different tones of shading. So we can keep everything simple. Let's just use the color gray for the whole tutorial. Now that we got all our boxes laid out, man, let's go ahead and pretty much, I do all my shading with my pencil tool. So let's go ahead and go to the pencil tool. Make sure this bottom color is locked. Make sure the top one is above the bottom one. And let's go ahead and sample that top gray because that's going to be our base color. So let's go ahead and make our Make his whole face that great color. Now, every time I do shadows, I put every shadow on a layer of his own. So that was our base color. Now I just created a new layer because I'm gonna start with a shadow. So I like starting with my dark shadows and then I like to gradually get lighter. So I got my dark shadow selected Make sure this bo bottom color is locked. Go to my pencil tool. And what you want to do, you want to study your picture and you want to find out where are all the darker tones. So we can come over here and look at this picture. You can tell it's dark in this crease. All you do is really just like you're drawing a picture, you just treat your shadows the exact same way you just draw the shadows you just focus on where all your dark tones at and then you put them in place so right now so it, it takes some practice to be able to find them right now i'm just looking at my picture and i'm placing all the dark shadows exactly where i see them Dark shadow right there. 
And then once I'm finished finding all of my dark shadows, I go to the next lighter shadow and I look for that tone on the picture. See, you got a dark shadow right here. That comes up. And then notice you got dark area right here. Dark piece right there. Also, it's pretty dark on this side of his face, so let's go ahead and make a little line. Now, okay, now, see, you got a little dark spot in this crease. dark spot right there and you got another one right here and also inside of his ear so you just really focus focus in on the picture you're drawing okay now I'm finished I'm about finished finding all of my darks so Let's lock that layer, create a new layer under it. I start with my dark shadows and every layer I create, I tuck it under and I go lighter. So the dark shadow will sit on top of the lighter shadows. So now let's go up a block, sample that. And now we're gonna find our tones that's a little bit lighter, you know what I'm saying? So, but still in the dark, the dark realm. I'm just looking at my picture as you can see focusing in on my picture okay let's notice you got dark spot right here then in this crease it come up like this it's all about focusing don't overthink it just draw exactly draw exactly what you see place the shadows exactly where you see them at on the picture okay I see a shadow right there and you got a dark shadow right here and this whole ear right here go ahead and make this whole thing dark Maybe, hope, hopefully y'all getting the, the method of what I do every time I'm trying to draw shadows. And, okay, see it's coming over here. I'm not overthinking it. I'm just following my picture. Doing exactly what my picture tell me to do. shadow that connects right here and come back also notice I forgot to connect this bring it out just a little bit more now Shadow right there, right here on this little crease. Okay, now we finna go, go lock that layer and create a new layer under that shadow. It's just the same process. The lighter you get, like once I finish finding those tones of shadows, I go even lighter. Now I'm on to looking for these lighter shadows that's lighter than the first two I was looking at. 
So let me go ahead and sample that. Now I'm focusing on this. You see it? I'm on that tone because shadows are just, just different tones. Being able to find the different tones in the face. And if you look at it as you just drawing a picture, it'll be easier to find. Like, don't treat it no different from actually drawing your picture. I'm just following exactly what I see. Okay, now I see. Let's come over a little bit. Oh, just come that way. Just come out this way. Following my picture. Okay. Now, last but not least, is the highlights. So, what I like to do, I like to make like a just a brighter tone. You see where the light hit on his face that's gonna make the picture pop out more so i don't do nothing special but just draw exactly where i see the original shadows are placed so don't overthink it just draw exactly where you see it at on the picture we got a light source right there Got a light source right here, right there, on this lip. Oh, snap, if I can draw it, okay. Got one on this lip right there. Also, got one in this crease. Got one on this cheek. And we got a light source above his eye. And then what I do is I'm gonna make that not so not so bright so we're gonna pull it down just a tad. Okay cool. And now I'm just gonna be extra. Let's go ahead and go to the top and make his eyes and his teeth white. There you have it, you guys. How to shade. I will drop a shading video tomorrow for beginners. You know what I'm saying? Just in case if this was just a little too, a little too fast paced for you guys, I will drop a more simpler video. You know what I'm saying? Where it's not that much value going on in the face. Where we can be dealing with like one shadow, and then we can gradually. You know what I'm saying? The picture can get more advanced over time. So y'all just let me know if y'all want more videos like this in the comments. Make sure you stay tuned. Mohi coming soon. And I'm out.